Hey everyone, it's James from Palmer Hamilton Fab Labs. Today we are going to go over using the hole feature. So putting a hole within an object. And it was great that we did the text and scribble because I like to put my name or the Fab Lab name into objects sometimes that I curate and share with other people. So I will show you how to do that. So let's just go over what we have here. We have a box underneath. And then on top we have Fab Lab text and then my name James in Scribble. Okay. Now when I click my name, over here we have solid and whole. I can create a solid shape or I can make it a hole. And if you notice up here in the top right of your basic shapes, they already have a box and a cylinder as a hole. Now you don't necessarily need to only use those objects you can make any of these objects a whole okay so if i wanted to bring a half sphere in here and i could click hole it grays it out it has this gray striped object right so what does that do well i'll show you so i can move this object into another object I can click it, I'm gonna hit shift, click the other uh, object I want it to connect with, and then I'm gonna use the group function. I'm gonna group these together, and there you go. I now have a hole in that object where I put it. So you can adjust it however you want to, but that is how you get a hole. So I'm gonna hit the home feature. Next, I'm going to go back to my text. I want to embed this text into my box. So one thing I need to make note of is my box is one inch high, right? My text is half an inch high. And it looks like, yep, my scribble is the same height. So keep that in mind. We're going to just note that down. All right, we're going to go into Fab Lab, the text. We are going to hit the hole. So now you can see it's see-through, right? Transparent. Now for the Z function, I need to drill this essentially into my object here. So I am gonna go down. And you remember when I move up and down, it's telling me where I'm at on the Z. So on the work plane, remember that we created another work plane on top of this object. So when I move down, it's going to go negative. So it's half an inch, right? All I have to do is hit negative 0.5 and it's going to perfectly embed it there. Okay. Or I can just do the snap function and embed it that way. So now I have both objects in there. I'm going to select all objects, group them together. Uh oh, I made a mistake. We're going to undo. I have to change my name to whole. We're going to select all objects, group them together. And now I have a whole in my object with my name with the fab lab logo there and a chunk of the corner taken out it almost looks like swiss cheese so when this prints out it will have the branding on there embedded into the object that you're printing all right thanks for watching this was lesson five on how to make a hole in an object